Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're used to leaks in FC24, right? Before upcoming promos, oftentimes the players and some of the content is leaked beforehand, but not often does EA just flat out tell us what is coming next. We might have just seen that in this game yesterday with one of the SBCs that was released. And I know we're in the heart of Ultimate Tots with the rewards, the upgrade packs, and all that that's going on. And there's a lot to grind and to try to pack, but there's a bigger story brewing and i want to get you guys prepared for it today in this video so if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new now let's keep it inside of ultimate tots for right now and talk about the content that we did have yesterday continuing with our daily streak of end of an era or flashback sbcs we go to liverpool it's not trent alexander arnold as maybe was hinted at it is tiago alcantara injured for a long portion of this last season he gets his second special card of FC24, and it's a good one, guys. I mean, to be completely honest, there's a lot of opinions on this card. Some people wish that he was higher rated statistically, maybe had a little bit better playstyle pluses, although the ones that he does have are very good and fit him personally. The bottom line for this card is he's cheap and he is fun. Only three squads for a good card, a solid, really good card. Not the most meta but very good. I completely understand how some people don't like it because he doesn't get in everybody's team, right? But let's be honest, not every card that EA release can be good enough to get into our team every single time, right? I like this card for the price that it is. And I think that's what EA is trying to do here. They're just trying to make a usable, uh, up-to-date Tiago card that is cheap and fun to try out. And maybe not somebody who stays in your team forever, but a cheap from uh, fun card. I'm probably going to be crafting this. Technical, incisive, and Trivella for 280k. Five-star skills, five-star, five-star. He's going to be able to make every pass you ask him to make with 94 passing and 96 dribbling. The card does look very good. He has 99 aggression as well. And a small thing that's going untalked about is his pace split on his regular gold and his um, card that he had earlier this year from Triple Threat, I think it was, his pace split was terrible. 91 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. They really, really boosted up the sprint speed. So that's a GG. I know it's going overlooked. But yeah, this card is nice. So if you want to get it done, get it done. It's only three squads. I like that it's cheap. Martial is kind of in the same boat as Tiago, but I think I'd rate Tiago above Martial uh, for what he brings to the pitch. So I'm hearing good things about this card in game as well. So it's a fun one to try out. You might as well. Now we have other upgrades to talk about. Of course, Mondays are player pick days and EA brought back to our dismay the same 81 plus player pick. I was hoping they would add a slot. One of four instead of one of three is the exact same requirements. At this stage of the year, how are we still getting the same 81 plus player pick? I think the first time this dropped was like, I don't know, future stars or it's been like three months or four, maybe even four months since the 81 plus player pick first dropped this exact same one. So it's still decent to do. I packed two team of the seasons, Slaughterbeck and Stanway, out of 81 plus player picks yesterday. I was definitely surprised by that. Uh, but they do seem to have decent weight. Maybe I just got really lucky, but they are worth the try. I will say that. And I mean, yeah, they're our crafting player pick SBC from this week. The other player pick that we had was the 85 plus. And this one we like a lot better, even though it's an 84 rated squad, in my opinion. That is completely fine because yesterday we opened a bunch of these. Do you have a really good shot of packing a team this season, guys? I said yesterday in the stream that if you did every single one of these 85 plus picks from now until the end of the week, I would be surprised if you didn't pack a team this season, even if it's a bit of a fodder one. But for an 84 rated squad, you're getting a player you can put into a craft for a higher rated squad or to an exchange, and it's a good shot at the team in the season. So I have no bad things to say about that. It uh, actually has some decent weight. Now we had, again, continuing with the trend, the League One Tots upgrade, right? Bundesliga two days ago, League One yesterday. Today we're looking at the La Liga Team of the Season upgrade, which was way better than League One. Guys, this League One, remember during League One Tots, after the whole uh, unintended versus tended, intended reward situation, it just felt like everything pack-wise after their mistake was terrible like the weight was awful the weight on these was just as awful as it was a couple of weeks ago during league one tots like i think i got kenny lala most people were getting del castillo's ben taleb's lala lock maybe a tiago santos here or there the weight on those league one tots cards from a couple weeks ago was terrible and that guaranteed and it continued today or yesterday with that re-release hopefully the la liga tots upgrade pack today can bring a little bit more hype because la liga was definitely a lot more hype than league 
one and guys that was the, basically the content yesterday there were no other evolutions i think with three days of insane evos back to back to back uh it's like okay ea had to slow down a little bit right i'm still trying to figure out who in the world i want to put into incisive pass master ultimate tot to glow up and the ultimate attack evo plenty of time to decide there um and i think ea is like all right we got them busy we dropped three good evos in a row there's a lot to look at here now let's step away for a day which is totally fine uh maybe we'll get another one today the red pick I don't even know if I'm going to use this. Like, I don't know if there's any use to using the Ultimate Team Champs Red. I don't even love the design. So with what's out, I'm probably going to let that one expire. I don't know if I'm going to put anything into it. But that's just a side note. So that was like all the content. It's really a bit of a slowdown from where we were with Ultimate Tots on the weekend. But that's kind of expected. Mondays have been kind of slow. And I think today might be a little bit slower as well on Tuesday. But there's one SBC that is the main point of today's video. You probably didn't expect me to be talking about one of the SBCs in the challenge tab from yesterday, guys. One small SBC that actually is huge. And it's this one. The Path to Glory Countdown Challenge. The name says it all, guys. It looks like we're getting an early start to the Euros content this Friday, I guess. And I like this a lot, especially because it is Path to to glory right this is one of the car designs that we saw added to the code just a couple of days ago or maybe it was a week ago now kind of hinting at the beginning of the euros and copa america content that would definitely be coming because we are what like 10 days away less than 10 days nine days away now i think from the start of the euros and i mean a little bit more than that for the copa america but it is getting close and with these promos path to glory is a a mainstay it's a staple promo every single year or not every year, but every single time we have these big national um, competitions, the Euros, Copa America, or the World Cup, Path to Glory is always a part of it. Now, this is the official car design. This was one of the tweets from last week with these cards added to the code, UEFA Euro Path to Glory. And one thing that threw us off was there was no like up arrows, like it was a live car design. Almost always live car designs have that on it. But this one does not. But it is confirmed to be now, especially with this little design in-game. That is the Path to Glory car design that we'll be seeing here in this game very, too, very soon. I want to talk about Path to Glory for a second. Why is this so big? Why is the whole video today about this, Nate, when we're in the middle of Ultimate Team of the Season? The reason is, these are the most looked forward to cards every single time. There's either the Euros or the World Cup or Copa America, right? It is a staple promo of any of those competitions. We had it last year for the World Cup. Remember these cards, right? That were live and upgrading cards based on Qatar and how these teams, country, how these countries and these players progressed in the competition for the potential upgrades. And guys, what do you know about live cards? It's kind of like Road to the Final, but even better because it's in such a short time frame. You know, Road to the Final is spaced out amongst like five months those cards are dropped and then you finally get to the final like Tony Cruz and Real Madrid just did this past weekend these live cards it's all within like three weeks or a month's time it's very short it's action-packed there's a lot of upgrades there's a lot of investment opportunity also a lot of opportunity to lose coins who remembers this Vinicius Jr or the even more famous Bruno Guimaraes uh, path to glory card 3.8 mil after brazil lost down to 1.5 million coins literally the next day there's going to be a lot of that happening with the euros path to glory cards how can we forget these from the delayed fifa 21 of the 2020 euro competition with the 98 acuna the 98 Verratti, and foden that got so many upgrades because they went very very far in the competition uh the vinny as well going to 97 rated these uh, are like these are these are awesome this is always 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 something that we look forward to and it looks like it's dropping first right the whole point of this SBC is it's called path to glory countdown and you can do it once per day I just saw the timer you can do it once per day and it looks like it expires on Thursday which is a little random that it expires on Thursday but maybe that has to do with the new season so maybe they're counting down to a season because I think our season in um objectives ends on this Thursday as well. Maybe a last shot if you're trying to get into some XP. Yeah, two days, three hours for the season. So maybe that SBC and the season kind of coincide. And maybe this content here is going to be wrapped up with the Euros, with the Copa America and stuff like that. That's very exciting. Um, and maybe that's why that SBC expires on Thursday. But it's in the name, right? We're counting down to that promo. And it's kind of funny because like usually EA lets us know about upcoming promos with like a loading screen. Um, and then we see leaks, right? But right now EA is just like, hey, 
Path to Glory is coming. Here's a countdown challenge. The SBC itself is whatever. You know, you put in 11 bronze players, you get two rare gold players packed back. But what this tells us news-wise is a lot bigger than what this SBC actually is. So, again, these cards are live and they're massive because think about what this promo is going to be. And, you know, it's different from the World Cup because these cards came out in what? October, late October, early November, before the World Cup started in the early stages of that game cycle. These cards in FIFA 21 are going to be kind of comparative to what we see now for the Euros content. These cards are going to be like team of the season level items. Basically, imagine a TOTS card right now. Like, let's say a lot of these Path to Glories, I bet, are 90 three to 96 95 96 rated with the potential for like plus twos and plus threes if their card and if their nation goes all the way through the tournament you're going to be getting some cards that end up looking just like these did in fifa 21 probably some pop potential 97 98 and maybe even like the firmino card that we had in path to glory team 2 a 99 rated card like there is legit potential for some of that with these live cards and it needs to happen that these cards come out first because think about it if the stuff like if the euros games and the copa america games are starting in a week we need to have these cards in the game so that they're out and active when the games start happening so that they can get their upgrades based on the performances so this is lining up really well the hype is starting to build for the live cards for the upgrades there's huge investment opportunity, like we mentioned, and there's also huge stat potential as well. These will be some of the most crazy cards that we see first, getting the crazy upgrades kind of into the summer with like super high rated stats. Like, I mean, again, looking at these cards, it brings back so many memories of some absolutely crazy fun times on FIBA 21 during the summer. So the start of that is coming this Friday, and I wanted to kind of get you guys kind of ready for it just by talking about it, kind of letting you know what those cards are about. And one other small tip, there's going to be everything in this Path to Glory, uh, Euros, all of this stuff is going to be nation related. I mean, look at this SBC. It requires you to put in 11 players from the same nation. Maybe a little bit of a tedious thing to do, but make sure you have some of the plenty of players, honestly, from the top clubs uh, or top nations. I keep saying clubs because we're used to saying clubs, right? But it's all about nationalities, <laughs> right? And countries. Make sure you have players from the top countries, whether it's in Copa America, like Argentina, Brazil. Make sure you have the Euros countries like England, France, Germany, Portugal. Some of those cards in your club, probably golds and silvers, um, just because there are going to be a lot of country requirements for SBCs and stuff in the next couple of weeks once we kind of switch in from club mode into country mode with all these competitions. So that is one thing I wanted to mention, and it's not a 100% guarantee because this is abnormal for EA, but I mean, guys, we're kind of reading between the lines here. It's called a countdown. It's coming out this Friday. Live cards, a lot of hype, a lot of fun, and the beginning of a really fun summer, hopefully, on this game. I wanted to mention that today. There's going to be a lot more that we have to talk about. There's still other pack code that has been added about Euros, Copa America Nations, top top nations pack, top Euro nations pack, um, team of the tournament cards, UEFA international stars, make your mark, make your mark. Plus. Like there's so many Festival of Football Academy. That sounds fun. Tell me more. There's so much content to be upcoming, a lot to be excited for. And honestly, Hopefully EA make the transition from TOTS into this Euro stuff pretty good. So that's enough yapping from me about all of that Euros content is upcoming. I wanted to mention that today and talk about it in detail because it's big. And really EA just gave us some insight into that yesterday. So with that being said, let's come back to Ultimate TOTS for the right here, right now. A lot of people are like, Nate, when can I buy Ultimate TOTS cards for my team? Well, welcome to Tuesday when usually these cards are hitting their low points on every other single week of team of the season it is tuesday when these cards kind of start to reach their bottom prices and then slowly go up from there could that be the same this week it could it really could but again i think this is a situation where if you want somebody for your team and you're okay if you lose some coins then you're looking at today maybe a little bit later on tonight on tuesday night as a buy time just be very careful about some of these cards even this bon mari i'm looking this card up right now because i realized yesterday she's only seventy thousand coins away from her minimum price on her price range and what did we say yesterday there's like 12 players that are not even selling on the market she might be number 13 right if her price gets close to 600k people are going to start panic selling and it could bring her price down just because people won't want to get stuck right because ea know or we know that ea take a while to update these price ranges 
Um, yeah, just be very careful investing in these cards because I don't think they're going to go up that much. I know these are the best of the best, the cream of the crop cards in this game right now, but what's going to change Euros content is going to change that. And I think some of these cards are probably going to fall even further. Not all of them. Some of them are still going to be insane and the most usable. But I think some of these cards are going to drop further into this weekend, depending on the content that we get. So be careful about investing, but also at the same time, mix in the fun. If there's somebody from this Ultimate Tots team that you've been wanting to try now for a couple of weeks, and now you can afford them, you can get their, your hands on the card, go ahead, buy the card, have the fun. Just be careful and maybe expect to lose a little bit of coins. Um, and just don't hold on to the card for forever because they still will drop throughout the summer. But have fun. That's also a priority, too, at this stage of the game. Make sure you're having fun. The market's settled out about a lot. Like, if I'm taking a look at some prices, like just for an example of some Serie A TOTS prices, Polistic was down at like 300,000 coins, I think, at his lowest point a couple of days ago. Maybe it was Sunday. And right now he's 340K. Giroud has kind of bounced back up a little bit. It seems like the market is like not crashing as much anymore. It's kind of settled, settled out, which makes me a lot more interested in like trading and flipping. I did buy a couple cards yesterday to, to try to flip on the market. It seems like we've kind of reached a mellow ground. And uh, I don't expect to see a bunch of crashing um, unless there's some really crazy content leaked for the Euro stuff. But we'll just kind of have to take that a day at a time as we get news and information. Um, but for right now, it is seemingly pretty good to trade. And uh, if you want to make an investment, watch for some price drops today on Tuesday before going in. Let's talk about Tuesday, a little bit more content today. Another end of an era, another flashback player is almost guaranteed, right? Every single day so far, we've had one. Who's it going to be? today on Tuesday. Um, they've been going prem heavy, to be completely honest. I don't know if they're going to mix in a different league today, what they're going with that, but an end of an era or a showdown's coming today. Or sorry, not a showdown, a flashback. Um, but here's what I would say. Just wait for a couple hours before content because there will be leaks. And if you can't see those, hop into the Twitch stream right around the content drop. We'll be talking about it, kind of who we're expecting for the day. But every single day so far, it has been leaked ahead of time. Now, Tuesday, Always brings us a TOTS upgrade pack, right? Last week, it was the 90 plus, the weekly 90 plus TOTS player pick. It was two squads, 85, 87, with one team in the season required. They've upped the ante every single week on this player pick. What are they going to do? 90 plus is pretty good. Are they going to make it 91 plus, 92 plus, or are they going to drop that pack that we talked about yesterday, like a TOTS, TOTS plus, or TOTS moments? tradable multiple times per day like three four or five times per day repeatable pack which may not be as good but it's tradable right there's potential for that it's not a guarantee i'm just kind of shouting that out because i feel like ea might want to do that as tots cards continue to go up on the market i know a lot of people that are taking the cash and selling this investment ggs if you are because that is definitely the safe route um if they don't do a tradable SBC today, though, they're probably still going to go higher. So, you know, just kind of risk it if you want to risk it. Uh, and don't risk it if you don't, because these cards drop a lot and they're good money. They're good cash. I think they're even 38K. They're usually more in price around the content time as everybody's going out and buying them. Yeah, they're down like 2 or 3K right now because they were like... 38 to 39,000 coins earlier in the day yesterday. But I think we'll get some sort of TOTS player pick or TOTS upgrade pack today. That is almost a guarantee. It might be a bit quieter of a day, though, to be honest. I mean, we're going to have the La Liga TOTS guarantee, too, which is going to bring more demand for people to buy those fodder team of the season cards. So, again, maybe they could go up even further. But um, I don't know if it's going to be that crazy of a day. Unless we get a crazy end of an era slash flashback player, the La Liga TOTS guaranteed, and then another TOTS player pick. I'm going to continue to craft Royce. We are almost done. And, um, yeah, it might just be another day to get your weekend league games done and just a kind of quieter day in general. I don't know if they're going to drop us an Evo. Maybe if they do, it would be something as simple, a TOTS upgrade to that regard. Um, but it will be a day to try to get some TOTS packed through those guaranteed player picks and all that jazz and one last day to grind champs bros it is tough out there man it is the most sweaty weekend league by far prem tots was pretty sweaty but this one man it's not even like the players that i'm playing against they are very good and i can tell the competition level is high but the gameplay um, it was good on, oh, I'm not trying to go into a game right now. No, 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 back out. Um, the gameplay was good on like Saturday, but over the last day, it has been absolutely shocking. It has been terrible. 
Um, but it is still worth grinding for the rewards. I'm about to try a new formation. I put my Jesus Fedeta and Rodman back in the squad with some USA Passion to see if we can get some Ws. Um, I'm liking the squad. I'm just got to try out some new formations or something. Got to switch something up because it has been very tough this weekend, but we're trying. So um, I'm trying to get Red Valverde, guys, because I don't know if you saw the stream yesterday, but he is everywhere in rewards. Like, rank six rank two rank three rank four rank five he's like everywhere in red picks he's the most common red pick and i don't know if it was just yesterday or if we were seeing something crazy um but we opened a bunch of rewards yesterday it's on the second channel if you want to go check that out but this guy was legit everywhere like every other set of rewards he was in the player picks it was crazy so i would love to get valverde that would be insane for the other madrid links that we have and what an insane card that he is but good luck on champs if you're playing that still good luck on arrivals if you're grinding for those end of the season rewards as well maybe trying to get up to like a new division for the first time um, to get the better rewards i have not played a single game i would love to get a chance at elite division but with the way the gameplay was in champs it does not make me want to grind and also if you're like nate i don't know what to play i've hit my stuff go play cup modes if you haven't finished the cups because there are some good packs up for grabs there even if you don't need the xp there's still some good packs up there um 83 double here you know that one's not that great 81 times two i haven't done half of these cups um but there's some decent packs in there some tots guaranteeds and some uh, other special cards as well which could be good just for some fodder right some 89 rated for exchanges before exchanges go away i bet they're going to come back we'll cover that more later on in the week though but guys that's going to be the video for today if you did enjoy it drop a thumbs up on it. if you're excited for the euros drop a thumbs up on it as well we'll be talking more about that as we get closer to it and of course subscribe to the youtube channel if you are new i'll see you guys in the twitch stream today that links down below in the description if you want to check us out there it's been native account see you guys later peace out